Shalom, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakata, to the Lord's elect. Before I start off, I would like to give all praise, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash. I'm your brother Jeremiah, and Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, in whom the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son, in whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus. We are the nation of Yashallah, the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. We are the chosen people of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, sincere Akim, pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom to you, sincere Akwa, who believe. Lord will this be edifying. And this right here is just a, a quick impromptu on my way to the plantation and and i'm making this impromptu just according to uh you know what's on my spirit uh i hopped in the chariot you know the vehicle on my way to the plantation this morning and uh you know they, they got eve on the on the radio and eve is just short for our, uh basically the two-thirds of our women you know two-thirds they're not gonna get right uh, uh, until they don't, they don't want to get right until the Lord's return and all these calamities happen. But Eve is just short for for the wicked uh, women of our nation. Okay, and uh, pretty much they got Eve on the radio, and she she's just pretty much you know allowed to speak all manner of, of shamelessness. You know, you know here here we are within uh, biblical times. You know, prophecies happening. And, and and even more uh worse things to come you know and you got eve pretty much promoted throughout the world talking about uh uh at at the red light twerking on some headlights you know and that that's that's a, you know that's vexation of spirit you know well, nobody want to hear that when when they wake up you know but that that's how esau you know, it's promoting our people, you know. They got you got wicked two third Jake and Jake is uh, another cold word that we use, you know. A lot of times we refer to Jake as, as the you know, the wicked two thirds men of our nation, you know. But you know, enough of my words, I wanna get a couple precepts, you know. Because uh, you know, two thirds of the nation of our people they they they're just blind out here, okay? You act you actually got men and women of our nation that listen to that that foolishness being at the red light turking on some headlights you know come on man but let me let me get a, a couple of precepts that come to mind you know so lock it let me bust this term real quick all right this is romans 11 i'll start at verse 7 it says what then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath attained it, and the rest were blinded. And Lord will we be a part of that hopeful elect, you know, Lord willing, all right. But the elect right now, they're 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 hearkening unto the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. They're repenting, you know. They're coming back to their power and they're remaining there, all right. But the two thirds. They're pretty much, as we're about to read, they're blind, okay? And it reads zone, verse 8. It says, as according, it says, according as it is written, the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So at the end of the day, the Lord put that, that spirit on them to be blind, okay? To not see these prophecies come to pass And meanwhile The elect they can see it They can hear you know They're, they're, they're uh, uh, hearkening To the voice of their power But the elect Out here they're, they're, they're Occupied with Eve Performing Performing and, and singing Being at the red light Twerking on some headlights that they, The two thirds of the nation Of our people are just lost you know, and there's other uh, uh, wicked music out there, you know, uh, vanity, you know, it has no purpose to the music. 
and, and, and two thirds of the nation of our, our people, they, they're uh, engulfed in that, you know? Now, I ain't gonna sit here and, and act like, you know, we're perfect, you know? We listen to uh, uh, rap music as, it, as it's called, but but we, we're not engulfed in, in, in that, that uh, the energy of that music. You know, the two thirds of our nation, they're engulfed in the music and they, they, they follow suit. You know, we got a lot of whores and harlots of our, our, our women, you know. And I guess that's where the spirit going with it, you know. Let me try to get my other uh, Bible app, you know. Let's go to the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach, the 26th chapter. Um, so lock it. Let me let me try to find where it's at. All right, there it is. That's the spirit. Sirach, uh, twenty six and twenty five. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shame faced will fear the Lord. So you got a lot of uh, uh, dogs. You got a lot of uh, uh, bitches within our, our, our nation. You know, it's a lot of, excuse my French, but you got to say it as such. A female dog is a bitch. You got a lot of shameless women within our nation. And we talk about the two thirds. And a lot of the two thirds is going to consist of women. And they're going to be destroyed at the end of the day. You know? But on, on, on in the same breath, it says, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. You got a you got a few sisters in this thing. Alright? And shalom to you sisters. You know? Continue to, 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 to follow the Lord and fear the Lord, you know? Modest apparel, you know? Shame faced, you know, continue to, to, to follow our power, you know. Uh, well, you know, you if you have a man, the man is your head. You know, and uh, you know, since I brought that out uh, for edification's sake, let's, let's find that. You know, the man is your head. You know, I want to say it's in uh, First Corinthians, just Salakia. Let me try to find it. Uh, yeah, there it is. All right, First Corinthians 11. I'll start at verse one. It says, "Be ye followers." Of me, even as I also, Salakia, be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach. You know, so this is the brother Paul telling you to follow after him because he's following after Yahawashai. And at the, uh, at, uh, at the end of this walk, you know, this life, Yahawashai is the only way we're going to get back to the Father, you know. Because, uh, let me get it, because these precepts are just running through my head, you know? The Lord, the Lord said that uh, he is the way, the truth, and the life. You know, he also referred to himself as the, uh, the door, you know? But that's John 14 and 5. No, in 6. John 14 and 6. Yahweh saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, by, but by me you know. And we can't get to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. You know, we can't get to the kingdom of the Most High. You can't get to the kingdom of Yahweh until we go through Yahweh. He's our mediator. He is the way. It says, verse 7, if ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. And from henceforth, ye know him and have seen him. You know, because the Lord said, you've seen him, you've seen the father. Because the, the, the Lord, Yahweh, when he was on the scene, he came to do nothing but the will of his father. Just as, as we are, are, are here today to do nothing but the will of Yahweh. Which is the will of Yahweh, right? We we are in perfect alignment, you know. First Corinthians eleven and one. 
It says, be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach. Now I praise you, brethren. You know, who's your brethren? Who's the brethren unto us? You Israelites. The Israelites. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. Even that wicked Eve talking about being at the headlight, uh, being at the red light, Salakia, twerking on some headlights. Even her. Even, even her, she need to hearken unto this. But we know that at the end of the, uh, at, at the end of this walk, Eve is not going to wake up and Jake is not going to wake up. I'm talking about the two thirds of our nation. Verse two. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as as I delivered them to you. All right. And we bringing out the ordinance or the ordinances. The, the laws, the statutes, and the commandments of our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse 3, but this is the point I'm trying to get to. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach. All right? And you got elect men getting in order, following after their Lord, Yahweh Shai, their Savior. And we already know our Lord Yahweh Shai is in order. He's sitting in the right hand of the Heavenly Father. You know, which his name is Yahweh. Okay. Let's read on. And the head of the woman is the man. All right. And our women supposed to be in their lot. You know, that's that's order. Our woman get in their lot. You know, as as the man being the head. Okay. Um, to read on. And the head of Hamashiach is the Most High. All right. So there's the order. It goes Yahweh the Father, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, His Son, the Man, the Israelite Man. Let's not let's let's get that understood. You know, you know, there's an order within these heathen nations. We go we gonna govern them when we get in power uh, by the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But you know, the order is the Israelite Man, and then the Israelite Woman. You know. The reason I say that, and the reason we say that, is because the laws is given unto Israel. Okay? The laws is given unto Israel. And when we get in power, then we'll govern the heathens. We'll get them in order. You know, with a rod and a rod of iron. Okay? You know, dash them into pieces. They're gonna they're gonna get right. Okay? But right now I'm sticking on the nation of, uh, of our people, you know. Okay. So, you know, this just, just circles back to the point. Here we, here we are in the midst of prophecy and Eve talking about being at the red light, twerking on some headlights. So, pretty much the only answer to this is that they have to be destroyed. You know, you got a bunch of moles out here, you know, that, that's out of order. A false balance is an abomination. Unto, unto, unto our power, you know. Let me get that. We got a bunch of moles out here. Men want to be with men. And, and, and women want to be with women. You know. Nothing good can come from that. And you see the Lord plaguing them. Okay. It says, Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is abomination to the Lord. Unto you, how about Shem Shai? But a just weight is his delight, you know. So the Lord delights in an in in Israelite man and an Israelite woman, okay? Or uh, Israelite man and, and, and his and his uh heathen women, you know. There's an order in that, okay? But I think that's pretty much the point, you know. I just wanted to make that through the spirit, the Rakakodash, quick improv too, uh, on my way to the plantation, you know. Lord will, this is edifying to the elect of the nation of Yahshua Allah. Uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, sincere Akim, preaching his truth and sincerity. 
Shalom to you, sincere Aqua. Call Halaya, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, or Kakorash. Shalom.